This is Henry from God Dethroned, and you're listening to Jet at Metal Messiah Radio. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Metal Magdalena with Jet right here on Metal Messiah Radio. Tonight we have with us as our guest, Henry Settler of God Dethroned. Welcome back to the show, Henry. Hi, Jet. Henry here. It's nice to be back, yeah. <laughs> so Henry's with us today to talk about God Dethroned's new album, Illuminati. So Henry, since last we spoke, you've added a new member to your ranks in Dave Meester. So tell us how Dave came into the band and how's he doing so far fitting in? Yeah, Dave came in the band um, because Mike couldn't join us on tour. And... Uh, you know, we like Dave a lot. He did a good job, and uh, we decided to keep him. <laughs> B- basically, because we we knew that uh, Mike would also have problems for future tours, and to find a new guitar player for every tour would be too much of a hassle. So Dave did a great job, so we decided to keep him. And so how do you feel personally now about the state of the band with this lineup, Henry? Yeah, pretty good. I mean, we uh, we play together now in this lineup for like uh, almost a year, mm-hmm. you know, a, a couple of months from a year. And it worked out really well. And uh, Dave also played his guitar solos on the album and they are great. So no worries there. Not at all. Okay, so let's get right into the album. So again, the title of the album is called Illuminati, which many of us know as the Secret Society of the Freemasons. So Henry, why did you choose this as a title for this album? And is this a subject that intrigues you? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does It does intrigue me, and um, it fits the band, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, we did three albums about World War One. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was really happy to have that finished because <laughs> nothing really happened in World War One. You know, people were just fighting in trenches for four years. <laughs> so to write four, uh, three albums about that, that was quite, quite hard. And in the meantime, our fans uh, asked us if we could go back to our older themes like religion, the occult, the dark side. And then I thought, okay, that would be a good idea, but you know, we should do it a little bit different this time. So I looked into the whole Illuminati thing and the Freemason stuff, and um, that became like the main topic on the new album. And yes, it's something that interests me, and it's something that a lot of people find intriguing. So it seemed like a good subject. Now, would you consider this somewhat of a concept album, Henry? No, it's not a concept album. Uh, I mean, I I will not do a concept album pretty soon again. I mean, I like the freedom of just writing a song about a certain topic and then do something completely different on another song. Mm -hmm. And a concept album is needs a you need a lot of research. And it's it's quite, quite, quite difficult to do uh, concept albums. So, so no. (laughs) <laughs> so, so walk us through some of the songs a little bit lyrically. Um, you write about, I, I mean, just reading titles like, you know, Spirit of Beelzebub and Gabriel, of course, Gabriel's Heaven's Champion and Beelzebub Fights for Hell. Tell us a little bit about some of the songs. Yeah, you know, Spirit of Beelzebub. It's about the devil, of course. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, in the song... Uh, well, she is still among us, actually. Well, actually, you know, tomorrow Metal Blade will release the second single and video for the oh, album. Cool. It's, it's it's actually this song, Spirit of Beelzebub. Ah. And in this video, you can see that Beelzebub is actually a woman. Mm-hmm. And um, so we're chasing her and we're stabbing her and then she changes into a rat. And oh. then we bring the rat back to the Freemason Lodge and then... She escapes and transforms back into Beelzebub and kills one of us. That's basically what you see. <laughs> you know, it's um, it's all fiction, of course. But um, yeah, it's it's a fun story. And uh, and Gabriel is actually based on the movie The Prophecy, mm-hmm. um, a pretty old movie, but a really really cool one where <clears throat> actually the angels are battling for. Uh, dominate to dominate the the earth you know mm-hmm. and um 
and trying to take over from Lucifer. And uh, yeah, that seemed like a really cool topic too. And um, so it's all kinds of stuff like that on the album. And Gabriel is a pretty, pretty epic song too. I think it's one of my favorite songs on the album, not yeah. just because of the music, but also because of the subject matter. You know, I thought it was mm. kind of cool. One of my favorites. So yeah, many people say that actually. Most people mm -hmm. I talk to, they say Gabriel is one of the highlights of the album. It, it there's just something about that song. Like I said, both lyrically and the music, it's just. It's almost like a movie in your head, Henry. It's kind of... It's, huh. it's cool. Awesome Thank song. you. Thank you. So, track number eight is a little instrumental piece. So, what's the meaning of this track in this album? And what is, like, the symbolic importance of the Blood Moon Eclipse, as described in the song, it leads into? Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, it's, it's just an intro, but... <laughs> Um, it's um, the music is is actually one of the parts from the song Blood Moon Eclipse. Mm -hmm. We we did something similar in the past when we had um, the song Under a Silver Moon. It also had an intro, and the intro was also a part from the song. But then it wasn't played with guitars; it was played on keyboard, and it's it's like a sounds like a church organ. Mm. And we decided to do a, a similar thing this time. So it's basically a part from, from uh, the Blood Moon Eclipse song, and that's why they, they fit together very well. You know, sometimes it's just nice to have a little intro f before a song starts. Yeah, it, it flows really, really nicely. And, yeah. you know, Henry, I really, like I was telling you, I, I really love this album, and I think, like I was saying, the subject matters of the song and the kind of dark approach to the music combine perfectly for mm -hmm. you know this is not only like an interesting subject matters but like wonderful dark and death metal so how did you approach this album musically henry <laughs> we never approach an album <laughs> i mean uh, not in a specific way i mean right. you know it, it's very simple we just i just sit down and try to come up with uh, with riff, with uh, riffs and then when i have some i go i drive to my drummer and we try them out and we try to make songs out of it and that's it and then all of a sudden a certain atmosphere comes up and then songs are created and mm -hmm. there is no master plan there is no direction to go to it's just what comes naturally that's it and now do you write lyrics first and then music or the other way around no first music then lyrics because you know, if you like, if you write lyrics and then you write a, uh, the, the music, it doesn't necessarily go together very well. Mm. If you have the music, it's very easy to 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 write the lyrics and when, while you're listening to the song, then it makes more sense to me. Now, in writing this album, did you guys do anything differently than in previous releases? Um, we tried to change some of the song structures compared to what we did in the past. Mm -hmm. I tried to do a little bit of a different approach, but that's not the main thing because, you know, you, you, can, you can hear that I write most of the songs. If you're a Godly Throne mm -hmm. fan, you can always pick out our songs. <laughs> but uh, I guess that's just a blueprint of what Godly Throne is. That's fine. But what we did differently this time is that we we wanted to have uh, we wanted to lift the atmosphere more, so we invited a keyboard player, a really good one, and he sat down with us to come up with really strong keyboard parts, and they turned out really well. And that meant that on this album, there's keyboards on all the songs from beginning to end, basically. That's something we never done before. Yeah. Um, but, but, you know, it, it, it lifted the atmosphere so much that we decided to keep it like that. And, and some keyboards are more in the foreground, some are more in the background. Right. But, but you know, it, it brings a different atmosphere. That's one thing. And then the other, if I may, <laughs> <laughs> the other one is, is the vocals. We did a lot of additional vocals, like the choirs, um, the, the grunt on tone, so to speak, mm -hmm. where, where you grunt and sing at the same time. And they also bring a different vibe. So I think... Uh, the whole atmosphere is, is more overwhelming than ever before. And I think also when you had mentioned about the keyboards, I don't want people to be afraid because they don't no. overtake the album, you know? It's just no, like a no. nice kind of addition. And, you know, I don't want to, you know, it's almost like you can't really they're, tell they're there, but... 
there's difference in the song, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. a lot of times people hear keyboards, they get a little scared. <laughs> yeah, but, but they shouldn't be. And I, I think you will play all the songs anyway, right? Oh, as many as I can that are released. So when uh, they will yeah. definitely hear, hear for sure. Yeah. And now, yeah, I mean, then, then they can check it out and they can, oh, yeah. they can, they can tell it's, it's just added and not like the main thing in the songs. Right. And so you had mentioned making a video. Now this is your second video. So you have two videos now. You have one for the title track, and yeah. this, and the next one for uh, what's the what song is it for again? For spirit spirit of Beelzebub. So that's going to be released tomorrow. So by the time this airs, people will see it. So do you have fun doing these these videos, and do you have any input into how they're going to be done? Yeah, because I created the storyline. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> and so that that made it easy, and it's it's a lot of fun to do. Um, you know, we did a yeah, we made it really special, I think. So it's really fun to to watch, and it's fun to make. The only thing was that we did two videos in two days, and <sighs> meaning we started at seven in the morning till like midnight. Ugh. And so we were really exhausted by the time we were finished. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. And then there's a third one coming as well. Uh, the song Book of Lies, mm -hmm. and that video will be released in the week of the album release, or probably on the same day, on February 7th. So did you, do you do all these video, videos locally? Um, yeah, more or less. <laughs> I mean, it's all in, in the western part of our country, mm -hmm. but we live in a very small country, so yeah, I guess it's all pretty local. <laughs> Well, we find really special places to, 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 to video them, you know, like in churches and in dungeons and whatnot. Because I, I haven't seen the new video, I'll see it tomorrow, but, and you had mentioned something about you go into like the Freemason Lodge and all that kind of stuff, and I'm so excited to see it now because I want to see the <laughs> rat and the woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I think you'll like it. So, so tell us a little bit about the cover artist of this album, Henry. Yeah, it's a guy from Poland. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's a long-time artist, he's a long-time God Dethroned fan, and I, I asked him to do an album cover, and then he came up with, uh, well, what you can see now, it's like a vortex of souls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he was finished, he said to me, man, this is, I think this, I did the best album cover so far in my life. So I was like, yeah, cool, man. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's really beautiful. It, it is, and it, it is, it's a nice presentation to the album before you even listen to it, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how it should be. Exactly. And hey, so yeah. you have a, a pretty extensive tour coming up, so tell us a little bit about that, Henry. Um, yeah, well, first we, um, we have three album release shows, uh, so February 7, 8, and 9, and then a couple of days later we uh, go on a European tour, it's, I think, 25, 26 shows or something with Obscura from Germany, a technical death metal band. Um, it's going to take us through the biggest part of Europe. And that's tour number one. There will be a second one, uh, another European tour in, in the other uh, European parts that we don't go to on this tour. And then we're planning to go to South America and probably North America as well. So, yeah, this is going to be a lot of touring this year. And, Henry, what are the best websites that people can go to to follow the band and see where you're going to be on tour and find links to pick up merch and all that kind of good stuff? Um, I, you know, the best thing they can do right now is to check our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Facebook.com slash Codifron, that's it. And... Um, you know, there you find all the links to where you can buy the stuff and pre-order the stuff as well, because we have limited editions of the of vinyl, six different uh, colors of vinyl and stuff like that. Wow. A, a DVD, a live DVD for the Bloody Blasphemy album that we did early last year. It's going to be released together with the album. Uh, we have a box set with uh, the DVD, the album, a patch, uh, a pendant. You know, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, cool. So they, they should check out our Facebook page. All right. So there you have it. God to Throne have a new album, Illuminati, coming out February 7th via Metal Blade Records. And they're going to be embarking on a tour right around the same time. And it looks like you're going to be going for 
pretty much the whole year. You can mm -hmm. uh, you can follow the band on their website, their Facebook page, probably the best bet. You can get all the links there. And Henry, thank you for coming on the show to talk about the new album and all the best with it and the touring season. Yeah, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to talk to you.